I'm Paul Gerard. I uh, have my own company, uh, Gerard Consulting, which uh, I've been running for a few years now. Um, I'm a practitioner in software testing. Uh, I've written a book or two. Um, I train people and I coach people in the discipline we call software testing. Um, I'm here to introduce uh, the course, uh, whether you're new to testing or whether you're an experienced tester with many years experience. Um, if you're new to software testing, the course really covers, it, it represents a foundation uh, as a good introduction to a very broad range of topics to uh, give you an insight as to how software testing works in industry. There's quite a lot of theory there, and there's a huge amount of terminology, but it's the basics that uh, the course is trying to give you and give you a good start in, in this. If you're experienced, when you look at the material, you'd probably think some of the uh, course content is kind of ideal world. Um, some of the terminology would be vaguely familiar. You use your own in your current uh, uh, job. But you need to be careful that you don't make too many assumptions about what you know compared with what's in the course. Because the syllabus itself is very precise. It's been written by testers. And the exam itself is a, is a test plan. Uh, when you come to take the test, whether you're new or experienced, the specification is used in great detail and uh, you've got to remember that the people who set this uh, syllabus and put it together and set the exam and uh, the marking scheme associated with it, it's been created by pedantic skeptic nitpickers. Uh, these guys are professional testers or academics who are very used to uh, setting tests like this. So you need to be careful about how you approach the course. The course is designed to help you pass the exam, as well as te teaching you material that uh, you may not understand at the moment. But it's, it's about fundamentals. Um, it starts from first principles, and there's a big section. Uh, the first 25% uh, of the course, probably, is associated with uh, the absolute fundamentals, first principles. And I put an emphasis on this in the material because when it comes to the later sections in the, in the course content, uh, it, things will fall into place a lot faster if you have these principles uh, to hand. Um, also, when you come to the exam, uh, it's very likely there will be a small number of questions that refer to content, that uh, topics that you may not have covered for whatever reason. Maybe you slept through that phase of the, uh, of the material. Maybe you ignored it because you thought you knew it already. But the first principles will help you answer questions where you think, I don't know the answer. So that's the way the course uh, is lined up, and uh, I'll talk more about other sections so shortly.